Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So the character we're looking into today is Axel the Arctic Fox. So we'll go into their location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just say that this isn't necessarily linked to the overall lore and universe of FNAF. This is just a fun what-if scenario and a cool creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well, let's get into the character concept of Axel the Arctic Fox. So in our previous videos, we've taken a look into the North Pole Pizzeria. An Arctic themed pizzeria with a number of frosty themed attractions and characters. The characters we've met so far have been... Patrick the Polar Bear... Preston the Penguin... And Wilbur the Walrus. Each of these disturbing characters were hell-bent on attacking our new character, the Employee. The Employee has taken on the role of Temporary Night Guard. This is due to the original Night Guard mysteriously disappearing. So, inexperienced and unaware of what's to come next, they dread their next night shift. And with a new night shift comes a new character. And this new character is Axel the Arctic Fox. Axel was of course designed after the fluffy white foxes from the Arctic. Being a white and fluffy creature, they were given the similar colour scheme to that of Patrick. Their mouth was filled with rows of pointy teeth, and their eyes were a bright vibrant yellow. Now, as we all know, Axel isn't the only fox in the Freddy Fazbear lineup of characters. Axel would be quite similar in design to the beloved Scrappy Pirate himself. One key feature that separates Axel is his big fluffy tail. So as for Axel's role up on stage, he didn't have one. Instead of performing in the band, he had his own sectioned off area. And this area was called Axel's Avalanche Room. This was a play area that was filled with snow, but not just any snow. This was a special synthetic type of snow. This snow didn't need to be stored in cold areas. It was a white fluffy mixture that was made of a certain polymer. It could be shaped, thrown, sculpted, and it even made imprints. Majority of the kids in this town never actually seen snow for themselves. So this special snow that was never cold and never melted was just like the real thing. The kids could make snowmen, have snowball fights, and make as many snow angels as they wanted. Whilst all this fun was happening, Axel would be the one looking over all the children. They were in charge of the avalanche room and made sure everyone was safe and followed the rules. Typically the only rule was, do not eat the synthetic snow. So Axel's avalanche room was considered to be a big success. The guests loved playing in the snow, and it was considered to be their most popular attraction at the pizzeria. As for Axel himself, he was a great character as well. He did his job and made sure everyone was safe and followed the rules. But not everything was so great. Ever since Axel's mysterious accidents, things took a turn for the worst. So on this unfortunate day, everything was working as usual. The pizzeria was almost done for the day, and the staff were packing away all the equipment and closing up the restaurant. The staff would then leave, and the night guard would start their shift for the evening. All the other animatronics would be set in their free roam mode as they walked around the pizzeria. Axel would also roam around from time to time. But mostly they would hang out in the avalanche room. They liked it in there. It's where they felt most safe and at ease. But in the later days, just before the night guard disappeared, the avalanche room felt a little stranger and stranger as the days went on. Axel didn't feel at home anymore. Something wasn't right. They themselves couldn't explain it. It was almost like a strange presence has moved into this area. Sometimes the room would get cold. Not as cold as the Arctic room, but it definitely dropped some degrees. So the incident involving Axel is one of the most mysterious cases at the North Pole Pizzeria. There's no records on what happened, nor is there any footage as well. On that unfortunate night, the camera in the avalanche room suffered a technical malfunction. 
All that everyone knows is that one minute everything was fine, and the next minute it wasn't. It all happened in an instant. After hearing strange sounds coming from the avalanche room, the night guard took it upon themselves to go check. As they peeked into the room, all they could see was the white synthetic snow has been stained with a thick viscous oil. Amongst all this mess stood Axel. What on earth happened to him? All of Axel's bottom half was nothing but endoskeleton and dangling wires. It looks like something has ripped off most of his material skin away. Whatever happened here was certainly a mystery. Ever since this strange incident happened, the avalanche room has been closed. To this current day, it's still closed with Axel inside. That was until the room was scheduled to have all the synthetic snow replaced. There was a delivery on the way, and a worker that was going to pump the room full of new snow. The employee was given the task of emptying out all the tainted snow. They would need to go in and shovel it all out before the worker came the next day. If this job wasn't horrible enough already, the employee had to shovel all the snow with Axel inside. They should be fine though. Axel has been deactivated for quite some time now, so the chance of them coming alive and attacking them was quite unlikely. So the employee got to work shoveling all the fake snow. Shovel by shovel, they slowly emptied the room of all the stained oily snow. All the while, Axel stood there and stared. The employee was almost done. Just a couple more shovel loads to go. They scooped the last one and felt something strange. In the pile of snow was another one of these mysterious VHS tapes. What was this one going to show them now? Without hesitation, they rushed over to the VCR and played the tape. Once again, these tapes have done nothing but open up more questions. What on earth was going on in this place? And what the hell was happening to these damn animatronics? And where is the security guard? Regardless, they needed to start their shift. They headed over to the security office and got to work. Meanwhile, Axel started to move once more. It seems that they have been awakened once again and they are very eager to test out the new teeth they were so graciously gifted. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. So as always, the gameplay loop is based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. 
The player needs to keep an eye out for Axel and all the other characters as well. So the starting position for Axel would always be in the Avalanche Room. Since that unfortunate camera malfunction, there is no visual or audio available inside the room. The only camera that is working is the one stationed in front of the door of the room. So the player would need to keep an eye on those doors, and see if Axel pierce his head out. Just like another sneaky fox in the FNAF franchise, Axel will slowly make his way out of the room. And when the player sees the door wide open, that means they're in a lot of trouble. They would need to close the door immediately before Axel rushes in. Axel would always rush down the left hand side of the office. As soon as they leave the avalanche room, they would sprint down towards the office. The player has very little time to quickly close the door. And as the nights go on, they would only get quicker and quicker. If the player successfully stops Axel, they'd return back to the avalanche room and prepare to attack again. This attack loop of Axel's can definitely put the pressure on the player. It would force them to always be watching. And if they lose focus, they'd be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Axel the Arctic Fox would be a great addition to the North Pole Pizzeria. Their classic foxy gameplay loop is essential to FNAF. They provide the play with some nostalgic jump scares, and the story surrounding Axel is definitely a strange one and adds to the overall mystery of the North Pole Pizzeria. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Axel the Arctic Fox, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, welcome to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.